Hello class, it's Professor Streeter. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the assignments for the first week of the semester. I will walk you through the content page for week one, and then toward the end, I'll return to the slideshow for this week and look at some of the slides that I didn't get to in uh, the week one video. Let me make myself, uh, put myself in the corner and show you the home page for our course. Uh, there are announcements, so I will make regular announcements and post them here. But for each week, I encourage you to start by going to the content page. So if you click content, there is an overview page here and a course schedule page here. But I encourage you to go to the weekly content and here week one in order to see for each week what what we're doing. So there's an overview, as you can see. Uh, I break it down uh, so su Sunday to Sunday, or Monday to Sunday is how I think of the week. And um, I've already shared with you this video about weekly tasks and expectations for the course and how to navigate the D2L shell and how to think about the books that I've ordered for the class. So those are three videos that you can watch if you haven't done so already. But you can see I've listed some things to do for preparation this week, preparing for the course. Read the syllabus. Uh, here's, a, here's a direct link to the syllabus. If you click here, it will take you there. Okay, so that's what our syllabus looks like. Please read it, and if you have questions about anything that I say in there, send me an email, set up a time to meet with me on Calendly. There is a link to Calendly here on the syllabus, and you can set up a time to meet with me during office hours, either virtual or on campus. Okay. Um, but now going back to the week one page. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I would also like you to take this survey if you haven't done so already. Um, if you click at here, it will take you to this page. Okay. And so there are some questions. I would like you to answer so I can think about where you're coming from and any concerns or questions that you have, you can share there in the survey. Okay. All right. So coming back here. Sorry for all the clicking. This again is where you can sign up for office hours. I would like you to share any questions you have in the class cafe discussion. And then finally start reading the books. So make sure to get the two books that are required for the course. One is called The Fundamentals of Ethics and one is called The Ethical Life. And we're using the fifth edition. Okay. Um, but here are the assignments for the week. Okay, reading assignments. Start reading the introduction to the fundamentals of ethics. This is Schaefer Landau's introduction to our themes and our, our topic for the semester. Uh, and then open up the ethical life and start working your way through some of the selections in part one. Part one is titled The Good Life, and that's what we're going to focus on in the first part of the semester. So there's a reading in The Ethical Life by John Stuart Mill called Hedonism. There's a selection by Robert Nozick called The Experience Machine. And then read a short piece by Kwame Apia on called What Will Future Generations Condemn Us For? So that you can start thinking about the ethical issues that, that matter to you. And uh, toward the second half of the semester, I'll ask you to choose a topic to write your second essay about. And the focus will be on an ethical dilemma or ethical crisis or topic that, that matters to you. Okay, um, there's also a, a class introductions discussion to participate in this week. Um, and uh, I'd like you to start thinking about the first discussion question. So uh, the goal this week is to participate in the, in the discussion forums. I do have one short practice quiz, just so I make, make sure that you know how to use the quiz function for the course. There are five short questions based on the first, the introduction to the Schaefer-Landau book. If you've read the introduction to Schaefer-Landau, 
You shouldn't have any problem with those multiple choice questions. But the goal for the practice quiz is just to make sure that you know how to use it. Um, so go in there before the end of the week and uh, take the quiz. And then there is a homework assignment that's not due this week. It's not due until week three. But uh, I'll, I'll show you what all those things look like. Um, here is, so as, after you look at the assignments for the week, the list, you can move down to the various links to assignments, and in this case, the link to the slideshow and the videos for this week. So if you click that, it shows you um, the slideshow for week one, looking at the themes of the course in more detail, and my video here walks through the slides for that slideshow. So you can find the slideshow by clicking here. You can watch my Ethics the Basics video by clicking here. I fixed the sound quality, but this this one <laughs> for this video, but the, uh, the video Ethics the Basics doesn't have great sound, so sorry about that. I've also included a video from Wi-Fi, Wireless Philosophy. This one is a series on different topics in philosophy, and I'll be sharing videos like this with you each week. This one is on hedonism and the experience machine, which is something we are reading and talking about this week. Uh, but this video is made by a philosopher named Richard Rowland, who teaches at the University of Oxford. So you can watch uh, his brief discussion of uh, hedonism and the experience machine thought experiment. So these are resources for you. Going back to the week one page then, After the link to the week one slideshow and videos, there's the link to the class cafe. So this is the discussion topic that it's not part of your grade, but if you have any questions about the course that you wanna share with me, uh, please do it here. Uh, and other, your classmates um, can see them. Uh, if you don't wanna share your questions about the course in the class cafe, you can always email me directly, okay? <clears throat> Um, but so the, the discussions for this week, there are two of them. One is just an introduction. So I'd like to, you to introduce yourself before the end of the week. So if you click here, it takes you to the discussion. You start a new thread and the questions are here. Just yeah, introduce yourself in, in whatever way you feel comfortable doing. Uh, if you want to share your nickname, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that your name that I see in the, in the roster is the name you'd like to be called but write a little bit about what your name means to you, uh, where you're from, right? And what, is, what does that mean to you, the, your, your, your origins? What does home mean to you? Well, that's something you could share with us. Uh, if you've got a major course of study, um, what, you know, what is it that you want to learn about here at Prairie State? What is it that you're studying and why? Uh, what are your goals, career goals, life goals? What do you want to do with your life? Okay, that's a big question, but try to try to be specific. Share something about yourself. Um, or tell a funny story or an interesting story about yourself. Okay, this is the place to do that so we can all get to know each other. Um, okay, so and then the discussion question for this week. And this is something I want you to think about and share before... Uh, before the end of the week. Think about the community where you live and the role that you play in your community. Talk about that with a friend or a family member. So before you write, have a conversation with someone about the community where you live. And, and in that conversation, try to define what you mean by community and explain why community is important to you, right? As you, uh, as you talk, talk to someone about this. Write down some notes as you think about this, and then the assignment is to write a paragraph response to one of the following three sets of questions. Okay, so choose one of these. The first one, what community do you identify with? How does that shape your identity as an individual? What do you value when you value community? How does your sense of belonging to a community contribute to your sense of well-being as a person? This is something we're gonna think about a lot this semester, the idea of well-being, and so we can start here. What's the connection between your well-being and your sense of belonging to a community? What are the basic values or customs that bind a community together? What pulls it apart? Uh, and how would you describe those things in the case of your own community? Okay, so that's one question you could write about. Or 
How would you define the ideal of social equality? This is something that we are, uh, all of us in one way or another, aiming at, or many of us care about uh, deeply, social equality. What is that? What does it mean to you? What is that ideal? Why is that a good thing to promote and protect? What are the, some of the ways that we can, can do this? How does inequality impact the community in which you live? Where do you see inequality in your community? And why or how does inequality make your life worse? Well, this is a chance to think about how you define equality and why, why you think inequality is bad, essentially. How does it make your life worse? Um, so what are the biggest barriers in a community, in your community, to social equality? That's the second topic. Or you could write finally about sustainability. And this is one of our topics this semester to think about sustainability on different levels. So how would you identify or define that ideal? What are we aiming at when we aim for, for sustainability? What makes a community sustainable over time? Okay, so um, those are three questions, sets of questions that I'd like you to write about in the discussion forum for this week. And you, you can access the discussion forum here by clicking here. Okay. Um, the quiz you can access here, quiz one, again, it's five multiple choice questions on the introduction to Schaefer Landau's in, uh, book. And then finally, your homework assignment, which is not due this week, but this is something to start thinking about. You'll be turning this in week three. And again, the goal is to um, begin thinking about uh, the topic of justice and, and or injustice. And I want to see sort of how you write, how you put your paragraphs together. Um, I'd like you to use some sources. So I, I, want, I want you to show me how you cite your sources in your writing. Aim for about a page of writing, double spaced, and submit that to this assignment folder by uh, February 19th. And the topic here is pretty basic, okay? Try to find a story or something you've read in the newspaper or on the news or something you know from studying history or something you know from personal experience that shows us something about injustice. So focus on a story that's important to you and that raises interesting questions about the basic structure of society and how people should live. Okay. And then write about that story. Once you've found the story, write about it. And these are the questions to think about as you write about this story of injustice, right? What is your source for the story? How do you know that that source is reliable? Like, why do you trust the source for this story? What makes this a story of injustice? What, why call this a story of injustice? What, what, what does it have to do with injustice? And what does it tell us about the nature of justice? Right? What does justice mean in the context of the story that you're uh, writing about? Explain, explain with example. Give some concrete examples. And then what lessons do you draw from this? How do you think we as a society should respond to this form of injustice? And again, explain what you think about that with some concrete examples. Okay, so that's the homework assignment. It's not due this week. It's not due until week three. Uh, and to so type it up in a, a Word document uh, or a Google document and then download it as a Word document or a PDF file and submit it to uh, this folder. I explain how to do that in another video. If you have questions about how to submit your homework, please send me an email. Okay. Um, so that's what, I, what I've got for the, the home page, uh, for, sorry, for the week one content page. And I just wanted to walk you through the assignments. I've sort of run out of time, so I won't be able to look at the other slides in the slideshow. Um, if you have questions about the work that we're doing for this week, send me an email. Uh, early in the semester, it's really important that you communicate with me. So if, if you're not understanding what I'm saying in these videos, if you're not understanding what you're seeing, on the website, uh, you need to communicate with me. So we can meet on campus, we can meet virtually, um, we can interact over email, but as long as you're communicating with me so I know what, what the issues are and so I know how to help you. Okay, that's all for now, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.